Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica Dominguez, independent sensei consultant from Toronto. For today's video, we have a very long and awaited scent and warmer of the month. I'm so excited for this one. I'm actually kind of sad that I missed last month's um, scent and warmer of the month. Ruby Nectarine along with Desert Bloom. That warmer is beautiful and I'm not usually into, like I love plants. I'm starting to become like one of those plant moms and I don't have one of those warmers and when I saw that one specifically compared to like the other ones that Sensi has, I fell in love. Like it is the cutest because it's quite a small warmer. I cannot wait to get it. I actually ordered it this month since I was, you know, I missed it last month, but it's okay because there's a 10% discount. So if you guys are interested in trying out the Desert Bloom, it's 10% off for the entire month of April. So check that out. Um, I can't wait to get it. I'll show you guys obviously in a video when I do get it. All right guys, so for this video, we're gonna be talking about the scent and warmer of the month for May. I'm so excited. I'm happy that I didn't forget to subscribe to it this time, but I cannot wait to show you guys this warmer. It is stuck. From the photos and from the video that they showed with this warmer, oh my god, I, I'm just, I'm excited. But before we get into that, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. Alright guys, so I know, I know, it's been a month since I filmed. I have filmed actually, and I haven't been able to edit some videos. Guys, it's been insane. With me working two jobs and then doing this on the side, it's, it's been really hard. I can't lie, like I'm not I'm not gonna like I'm not making up excuses, but at the same time, I've just been so friggin' busy that it's so hard for me to film anything. But when I got this, okay, when I got this package, I got it like yesterday by the way. So I'm gonna try and get this video up at least by tomorrow morning. Like I made myself that promise that I need to edit this video and I need to get it out at least no later than tomorrow. What's today? Today's Thursday, yeah. Today's the Thursday, so it better be up by Friday. Friday, April 15, okay? I'm putting that in the video just to, you know, hold myself accountable. Um, but yeah, I have not done a scent and warmer of the month since November or December. I can't even remember. Okay, let's start off with the warmer just because I'm excited to see this one, okay? In terms of turning it on, I won't be able to turn it on just because there's no power in my building right now. Thus, the lighting is not the best. I wanted a little bit of a brighter light here, but you know what we do with what we got, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so instead of it being the ultra bubbled violet warmer, we have here the bubbled iridescent warmer. This is going to be stunning. I cannot wait to show my customers this because I feel like they're going to freak out and fall in love with it, honestly. All I have to say is the warmer from last month, the warmer from this month, I'm living for. The other warmers, I was not, like there was, what was it? The month before, was it for March? I think it was for March. Yeah, March, it was the bunny, that that bunny gnome warmer. Nah, that thing was ugly, I'm sorry, I no, no. And you guys already know, I told you guys, I would not ever, I don't, like I just don't care to get any of the warmers if they're ugly as shit, like why am I gonna do that so it can like hold space in my place? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I ain't got that much room first of all, you know? When you live in Toronto, <laughs> you gotta think about shit that you're buying. All right guys, moment of truth. I'm pulling out the warmer. Hopefully it looks as beautiful in person as it does in those videos. So let's take this out. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is freaking, and I can't even turn it on because of the, oh my goodness, guys. I feel like this warmer is going to look nicer off than it will on for some reason. I don't know, I might be fooling myself, but oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let me see this light bulb. I believe this light bulb is, da, 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 what does it say on here? 25 watts. So this comes with a 25 watt light bulb. Let me get the um the lid here. I don't like I don't even care about the 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 wax lid here. 
just because the warmer is so beautiful, okay? All right, guys, so for anyone who is new to Scentsy, if you guys look at the lid, most of the lids for the warmers are going to have a number on it. This number just means that's how many cubes you can put into it safely without, you know, it spilling and having a wax in it, you know? Um, I think I only have one warmer, which is the Polar, the Polar Panorama, is that what it's called? Well, one of my warmers holds five cubes, so it's, I, I don't really see those too often, but in, in general, they're usually four. It's four that you can put. Some people are not gonna put four, but guys, I, I see from videos that I'm watching, most people are putting like two cubes in there. I think I have a problem because I always put three to four cubes in every single one of my warmers. I know it's bad to waste that much wax, but and that's probably why I go through so much of it, but you know what, I ain't complaining. I love my place smelling good. And ever since I've moved out, I have such an open concept with my um, living room. Like my, this, my living room and my dining room and like a little middle section. So it's quite, it's quite a long open, um, open area. And sometimes the scent, I'll put four cubes in each warmer and the scent is just not enough for me. I do feel like I need a few more warmers in my place, at least like the larger ones, because the scent like disappears within a day. And we're not trying to have that. We're trying to have the place smelling freaking good, okay? Let's get back to the warmer that, you know, I, I just, look how, look at the reflection, guys. You know what? I'm actually really happy with the lighting I have right now because it is showing you exactly what I see in person. This is so stunning. You have a reflection of, there's a little bit of yellow, there's purple, there's pink, there's blue. It is so stunning. And I would say that the overall look of this warmer is a pearl effect. It's almost like it's just coated in like that shiny pearl um, coating. If Like I don't even know what to call it. It's just, this is so stunning. It is clear, so you can see, obviously, when I put the... I might as well just put it on now. I mean, who are we kidding? I'm going to turn this thing on as soon as I'm done this video or <laughs> when my power comes back on, but I'm going to be using this warmer, like, right away. So, yeah, it comes with a 25-watt 25, 25 light bulb, if I can get this in properly. All right. So yeah, you guys can clearly see the light bulb. It's actually not as noticeable, but a hundred percent, this warmer outbeats the ultra bubbled one that they discontinued. And that's probably why they discontinued it. Cause they're like, we're going to be bringing in this iridescent warmer. Oh, I am so in love with this guys. I cannot wait to post this on my feed. I cannot wait to show this to my VIP group. They are going to love this warmer. It is just so stunning. I have so many warmers to show right now, guys. I can't. I had to pull out my iPhone and just take a quick little video so you guys can see how this thing looks on. It is beautiful. It is so incredible, guys. It is so different from when it's off and it's just as beautiful. You, this is literally, literally what you guys are seeing on camera is what I'm seeing in person. Nothing is different from this. You're getting this like baby blue in the top of the lid area or your tray, whatever you want to call it. And then you have like that yellow reflection here. There's some purple going on here. This is just so stunning. Guys, do not sleep on this warmer. This warmer is beautiful. I personally still think it does look the best when it's off but I think it looks be just as beautiful when it's on. It's just, it's almost like they're two completely different warmers, but my goodness, this is just so stunning, guys. Definitely, definitely check this out. So yeah, here you guys have the iridescent pearl warmer. I didn't even, oh my God, guys. It's been a while since I've filmed a set and warmer of the month. I completely forgot to tell you guys what comes in the consultant kit. So if you're a consultant, you're able to get your hands on the scents and warmer of the month before it even comes out. And they changed it up where before they used to give you a little sample tester and they also gave you a spray, a room spray, but they decided to change it and remove those items. So now you're just getting the, um, if you're doing just the, the scent of the month, you're gonna be getting the brochure. You're gonna get nine waxes, I believe it is. Let me see, is it nine waxes or did they lessen it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Oh, is it only eight waxes or am I missing one? Okay, so it's just eight waxes. I'm almost positive they used to give nine waxes, but eight is still good enough. Anyways, so yeah, eight waxes, this, uh, the pamphlet, and then also, um, a set of uh, sniff stickers so you can give out to your customers. So like this, us consultants were able to basically get some samples together, send it out to our customers so they can actually smell it before it even comes out and make the decision on whether or not they wanna maybe order the scent or even order the warmer if you have it on hand and you can show it to them. Cause I feel like a lot of people prefer to see it in actual, like in a video or something, you know, instead of just through the pictures I feel like pictures never do these warmers justice except for some of them where they don't really have like lighting like some of the like the, for example this one you need to see it to see how the lighting is in person where some of them they don't have that kind of look it's like a solid metal you know warmer and you can really get the gist of it just from the photos where these ones you really can't Anyways, let's open up this brochure and let me just see what it says on the information. So yeah, bubbled iridescent warmer. I cannot believe I missed this, guys. Cannot believe it. And the description says a pearly, that's, yeah, pearly. That's exactly what it is. This is pearl. A, per, a pearly iridescent transforms a contoured organic shape into a major statement that looks ready to pop. Um, this is 16 centimeters tall, 25 watts, like I said. It'll be available in May, 10% off, and um, this is in Canadian pricing. It will be $65.70 um, compared to the regular price, which is $73, and that's while supplies last. So if this warmer discontinues, or sorry, discontinues, if it sells out in the month of May, you will no longer be able to get your hands on it, on it anymore. So if you really, really like the warmers of the month, I suggest you buy it immediately or else you're going to like be really upset. So yeah, now that we've gone over the warmer of the month, let's get into the scent of the month. All right, and that was great. My battery died, so I had to try and reset this. Forgive me if the angle is a little bit off, but we're here to smell a new scent of the month, which I'm excited for. I haven't smelled a scent of the month in forever. I mean, I have, but just not before it released. Um, just so you guys know, if I had the option to only order the warmer of the month, I probably would have only gotten the warmer of the month because it's beautiful. Because I don't know if I'm gonna love this scent, but they raved so much about it that I'm hoping I'm gonna love it. I mean, it doesn't seem too bad, but I just don't know that it's going to be my favorite if I'm being honest here. And that's because of one specific note. So you guys will find out what that is. So let me read to you guys what the description is. So it's in the citrus category and the description is rose water. Rose water. Okay. You guys know I don't like rose. Rose is just not for me, but then it sounds like it kind of gets better. Rose water infused with refreshing lemon and a spoonful of sugar. I love anything sweet. I like lemon. I haven't really found anything like that's lemon that I've really loved besides um, Squeeze of the Day. That's my favorite lemon scent of all time. Actually, I love lemon sorbet as well. Those two are both really good. Lemon sorbet and... Um, the other one, I just I just mentioned that I just forgot the name. Squeeze of the day, that one, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so in the citrus category, and again, it'll be available in May, 10% off. Um, Canadian pricing, it'll be $7.20, or you can always add it to a six pack if you decide to do that instead. Um, so let's go through the notes. So the top note is fresh squeezed lemon, which I like. I like that it's not rose immediately, okay? And then the mid note is where the rose water comes in. And then the base note is sugar and sweet musk. Okay. I, like, I, there's no point in me holding off anymore. We're just going to smell it. Um, here we have the eight bars available. This is, a, this is a lot of bars, okay? This is a lot of bars to get through if I don't like. If I don't like the scent, so... Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just think in the back of my mind. I'm gonna smell mostly lemon sugar and sweet musk And I'm not gonna really smell that Rose water or maybe because it's rose water. It'll be light. It won't be so intense for me Hmm, 
Okay, so on first sniff, I'm getting the lemon. Okay, now that I'm smelling it more, I feel like I'm getting more lemon. This is actually not bad. This is sort of reminding me a little bit of a rose water facial spray that I had. I would just spray it on and it would just smell like, you know, roses. But it wasn't intense because I think like this, the scent is not as concentrated because it's in a water form. So rose water, rose water facial spray. I can see how like the two, you know, smell quite alike. So this is not a strong rose. I don't really get any powdery note from this scent at all because usually with rose scents, I can't remember what it was. It was one of the rose scents for Bring Back My Bar. It was just roses. Was it called roses? Simply Rose. I think it was called Simply Rose. I could be lying. But it was just roses and it was very powdery. It was very strong. Definitely a good contender for whoever the hell wanted that, that scent. Um, but it was just, it was too much. When floral scents are too much, I do not like them. Now this, I can actually do with this. Shockingly, even though there's rose in it. But I personally think, because it's rose water, it's not as concentrated. But I'm also getting the lemon. So I feel like the citrus note is cutting that rose scent even further down. Which is making me really like this. This does remind me of something else and I just cannot put, put my sniffer on that right now. Now I'm going to take it out and see if I smell anything else. Okay. Now that I've taken it out, isn't it weird that when you take it out you're smelling two different things? And I don't know if it's maybe because the oils steep down, even though there's no oils in this right now. But I don't know. That's just my theory. As I'm smelling the bottom... I can smell like the sweetness. I'm getting that sugar and I'm getting the sweet musk. I think this is actually beautiful. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to see what this is reminding me a little bit of for some reason. This is kind of reminding me of the Bring Back My Bar that just happened, the Blue Raspberry Ice. Okay, I know it's completely different, but it's that citrus it's the lemon note. I'm almost positive it's the lemon note that I'm getting from Blue Raspberry Ice. I'm pretty sure it has a lemon note in there. It's There's something. There's something about the two that are very similar. It's just that this has the rose element to it. I actually like this. I don't mind it. So I'm excited to test this one out, see how I like it warmed up, and then give you guys my feedback on that. But... Not too bad, actually. I would say that this scent is not club worthy for me. By the way, guys, for anyone who is not familiar with Scentsy Club, let me tell you guys a little bit about it because you guys are missing out if you are not a part of this amazing, amazing subscription. So it's a subscription that you can get every one, two, or three months. And basically, my favorite feature about it I mean, obviously, you can add all the consumable goods to it. So anything that you run out of, scent pods, wax, light bulbs, um, cleaning uh, supplies, like anything really that you run out of, you can add to your club. When you hit 40, this is for Canadian, so I only have the Canadian pricing right now. When you hit $39, $40, uh, you get 10% off your entire purchase. And then when you hit $80, $79 technically, $80, um, you get a half off anything that is consumable and usually I like to use my half offs on the bricks because they are amazing lately I've been using them actually on the cotton cleanups because they are amazing I they're honestly so easy to use to clean up your wax and I've gone through I think I've already gone through two bags of them they're awesome these are cotton cleanups and basically you just grab one of them by the end and then you just put it into your wax when it is warm anyways yeah so I usually get these for half off now um, just because I have so many bricks that I don't really need any more bricks I don't need any more wax. I have so much wax right now So I feel like that's a good thing to use the half off on you can also use a half off on the whiff box Which is amazing because it's $40 But you get more than $40 worth of product in it and you get it for 20 bucks instead Which I think is amazing and it's a new way to try out different products and you're not gonna know what it is It's always gonna be a surprise the whiff box. So yeah, that's what I like to do on that 
And my favorite feature about the Scentsy Club is the always get my bar. And that basically just means if your favorite scents get discontinued, you can add it to your club and you will always get it regardless if you were the only person to want that one specific scent. Scentsy is gonna make it for you. So that is why I love Scentsy Club and that's why I think you guys should get on it as well. If you guys have any questions about that, you know, just leave a comment down below. I do not mind helping you guys out. Um, but yeah, so that is the scent and warmer of the month for you guys. We have here the Bubbled Iridescent Warmer along with the Pink Lemon Water scent of the month for me. I'm so excited, so excited for you guys to get your hands on this warmer specifically. Oh, this is beautiful. I definitely got to get this warmer out and about and I'm going to try out the scent so I can, you know, report back to you guys and let you guys know what I think about this warmed up. Hopefully I like it the way I do on it cold. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I know it's been forever and ever and ever, but you know, a girl is busy sometimes and I'm a film when I can. I'm going to, again, like in every video, I'm going to try my best. Okay, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I'm trying my best. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below. And if you're interested in shopping anything Sensi related, check out my website, veronicadominguez.sensi.ca, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.